always love meeting people like you because I always want to figure out what's your diet, what, like how much are you sleeping, right? So let's let's talk about your, your personal daily routine. Where to start? So I would <laughs> say that um, from a diet perspective, I anchor around intermittent fasting. Um, I think that's like one of the most easy, uh, low hanging fruits to just generally up level a lot of the metabolic pathways that you want to be caring about. So what do I mean by that? I mean, I have a pretty tight eating window. So I actually, it's 2.42 PM right now. I actually haven't eaten today. And usually I'll have my first meal, probably like one, 2 PM and then have my last meal before 7 PM. So I ha oftentimes have like an 18 hour fasting window, six hour eating window where I have all of my calories per day. Mm -hmm. I'm not calorically restricting. I'm not trying to lose weight. Like I'm trying to get my calories of this high nutrient dense foods in, but just in a tighter eating window. And why is that beneficial? Well, it gives my time more time to digest and be in a facet state, which kicks off all, all these longevity pathways. Yeah. I find that just having a tighter, smaller eating window just encourages a lot of discipline where I'm just like pretty focused and pretty just in the zone for longer blocks of time. I don't have to think about what am I doing? What am I eating in two hours? I'm just like, boom, big blocks of productivity. So when I eat, what do I eat? I prefer animal products, animal proteins, animal fats. A lot of people think that vegan is healthy for them. I think it is not backed by science that that like meme, I think you can make an argument for veganism from a morality or an ethics and maybe mm. an environmental perspective, but from a health perspective, no. Um, I think that the evidence and the science there is, does not uh, warrant hay saying that vegan is a healthier diet than a well-balanced, you know, mixed diet with sure. animal proteins. Uh, I mean, uh, the data is just very, very clear that animal protein is so much more bioavailable than plant protein. Uh, I mean, like just, just it's, I mean, when you're eating all these plant protein shakes, how much processing is it to get your pee right. to taste like a freaking chocolate shake? Right. I mean, that right. just, uh, that is some <laughs> synthesized stuff. So just want to put that out there. So I'm not afraid of animal protein, not afraid of red meat, not afraid of animal fat. So what does that mean? I mean, oftentimes I have a lot of steak and eggs, you know? Mm. steak and egg for late lunch, early breakfast. And I basically just don't have processed carbohydrate. So basically leaving pretty much living a fairly uh, intermittent fasted sort of a time restriction on the time restriction dimension. And from a macro or food choice dimension, focus a lot on fats and proteins and reduce carbohydrate intake. Uh, that said, if I'm working out more, doing a lot of exercise, I'll up my carbohydrate intake. Mm -hmm. So to me, uh, it, it's fueling for the job that needs to be done rather than just sticking to a diet for some random dogmatic reason. Like it's for enjoyment, it's for fueling. Do I turn down like a delicious Michelin star meal? Cause I'm like right. not eating carbs. No, like Definitely not. this is for enjoyment now. And I'm lucky to be metabolically flexible, metabolically healthy, where if I eat a piece of cake, I'm not giving myself diabetes, right? I can look at my insulin levels, my fasting glucose levels, very, very, very healthy. So I think when people are very, very necessarily strict on their various diets, you might need that if you're trying to be an Olympic gold medalist or if you have type two diabetes or an obese, but if you've gotten like really good foundations then I don't need to be so strict if I want to enjoy and have a social dinner and, and all of that stuff. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of snapshot in terms of diet and how I think about food, but other things in terms of just like staples in my ritual, uh, I think it's uh, important to like, as you wake up go outside, see mm -hmm. the sun, mm -hmm. reset your circadian rhythm. I think it's super easy to just sit in our boxes all day long because yeah. we, especially we now your food deliver. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. And even before uh, we would just, if you just think about where you spend all your time, you're going up between your house, your office and your gym. And you may, that's like the three things, the three boxes that you, you, you rotate around. And I always make sure to at least sit outside, 
make sure the sun is hitting my eyes. It's really setting a good circadian rhythm. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.